All right, guys. Today we're gonna go over how to uh, replace a TIM on a video card. Uh, here's the video card. It's the ATI 5770. HD 5770. I've owned this card for about uh, two years. Bought it in uh, January 2009, I believe. And I even sent it in warranty. Complaints with um, the card would run at about 101 degrees Celsius. So we're looking at boil a pot of water on top. And I knew I knew if I didn't do anything about it soon enough, I would uh, lose the card. So they were sent it back. Uh, there were some improvements. I'd say it was probably uh, they just cleaned out the vents and they went down about 10 degrees. So now I'm having the same problem again with this one. This one's made by XF XFX. It has a lifetime warranty. Uh, replacing the Tim on these does not void the warranty. Uh, so what I want to mention here is uh, before you decide to replace the Tim to improve your, the temperature um, is try to clean out below through here you could have a vacuum hooked up here to pick up all the dust but if a lot of dust comes out then you know that was partially blocked um, remove here to the Tim you just got to remove these four screws here and use a flat uh, Phillips once that comes off this card literally just pops up like this. So this is our processor. I have removed uh, the tin material. Uh, tin, by the way, means the thermal interface material. And um, this is our heat sink area. Removed it there. Just you can use some paper towel, uh, and then clean it off with a Q-tip and um, some rubbing alcohol. I've heard about the ice. Icy Diamond being a good one. Um, it's rated at about 4.5 uh, watts per M case. Uh, I don't think the camera's focusing on there very well. This one is rated at, uh, you know, trust me, this one 5.3. Okay, once you've uh, spread the Tim. What you need to do is place your coolant block right on top without moving it and then screw it down and that'll be it.